So I took a two days break and I just was chilling and watching movies and catching up on my sleep because I was not sleeping well last week and I'm not even guilty about it and I painted. So if you want to have a look at it, I'll just post some time lapse video in three, two, one. Je peux vous le rendre, Seigneur, Seigneur, car avec les soldats. Hello everyone, this is Calliopal and my voice is kind of back. Yay! Uh, okay, today we are going to discuss a very important topic. <laughs> this is like a social work for all you ladies because the topic is how to recognize a fuck boy, fuck boy, fuck boy. <laughs> because there are too many of them now. It's almost like, where are the good guys? I always say this like, you know, maybe all the good guys are married and all the handsome men are gay. <laughs> so sad. And a lot of these married men are also fuck boys. Ladies, if you have a loyal husband who is really amazing, and he helps you around and everything doesn't flirt with women on whatsapp and facebook and everything you have got a keeper don't nag too much don't fucking keep on fighting with him or find excuses to just disturb his peace of mind so let's begin the video now first of all let me tell you what a fuckboy is i mean i'm sure the word itself just tells you Someone who is a shikari. <laughs> Someone who is a hawaska pujari. Someone who will try to be that nice guy and all he wants is to get in your pants. So yeah, there is not like a specific definition of this word but you get what I mean, right? So let's find out how to recognize a fuckboy. Now first of all, um, you can meet these fuckboys anywhere. It's not like you just meet them on Tinder or these dating apps or on social media or at the bar. You know, I'm saying these fuckboys are just everywhere ready to just pounce on you <laughs> or, you know, try to just get you in bed. Number one. Now this is, you know, even I was like clueless about it and then i read about it somewhere so on tinder you know netflix and chill is there in every man's bio <laughs> like almost every man's bio and i thought wow netflix and chill means you know we'll uh, watch netflix and just chill eat you know have a good time talk about our lives <laughs> but netflix and chill actually means Netflix and <laughs> That's what it means. I mean that is just an excuse to get you at his place and then to fuck you Number two, it is the obvious one. I mean when a guy or a man or man child he asks you for your naked pictures nudes maybe can pay out now Maybe, um, you know, ek kaam karna, apna face mat batana, bas, you know, niche jo bhi, you know, just show your boobs. Please, 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 please. They will beg for it also. Itne be sharam hote They will just like beg for it. They will be like, please, please. I mean, the whole conversation, like, uh, out of the blue, you know, I'm feeling, so don't send any nudes. Don't think he loves you. And of course, you know, he might say that he will not show to anyone. Uh, it is just for him. You know, he will delete it immediately. Come on, can't you do that much for him? Bullshit. He is a fuckboy. Number three. 
have you ever dated a guy or you know got to know someone or maybe you you have this friend uh, you like but then he disrespects women as in he calls um, a lot of women around him uh, she's such a whore you know she you don't know you know she's just like a bitch you know she drinks like this and she smokes she is just a slut so all these uh, words if he uses all the time that means he's a fuck boy because disrespecting women is a complete sign that he's not a gentleman i mean how can you even like such a guy you number 4 you know this is like a, such an old fashioned thing but i believe that a guy who disrespects his mother uh his sister um unless genuinely they are not good to him but you know what i am someone who doesn't uh believe anyone is perfect if he talks bad about his mother all the time or he just disrespects her in front of you uh he tells his sister what to wear or talks bad about her you know um all those signs are like definitely a reason that he is a fuck boy i'm telling you because after a point of time he is going to treat you also the same way trust me i've experienced this so no matter what excuses he gives because trust me i have been with a guy whose mother was seriously uh, not good i mean she was like this money minded person and uh, she used to just disrespect him so much but still this guy never disrespected her except just once or twice he shared that with me because i mean i i was his girlfriend but then when he was with her he tried to do everything to make her happy to give his parents a good life and that's what is a sign of a good person because that's what i have learned from my parents also so i do not really um treat people in a bad manner and i definitely believe in giving a benefit of doubt to people so just be careful number 5 is uh, pay attention to the conversation okay um you know if this guy is not interested in getting to know you because a really good guy who wants to spend uh, his time with you who wants to have a future with you you know will always try to get to know you he wants to know about everything your school life your college life your future plans your dreams your career goals you know whether you want to get married whether you want to have kids or you don't want kids or whether you want to travel he wants to get to know every bit of you but if this guy um uh, is you know like kind of sounding bored and all the time he just tries to talk about sex or um the conversation will be like what are you wearing right now or he you know he'll try to slip in that um sexual talks all the time that means he's a fuck boy these fuck boys are so friggin um desperate and you know so shameless also i feel you know you're like talking something really serious also and suddenly he'll just come up with you're looking so hot in this picture he'll share that you know in um uh, your facebook messenger or something he'll be like suddenly he'll, he basically is just not paying attention to your talks and you know all he cares about is like just talking all this bullshit all the time number 6 any guy who doesn't want to give a label to your relationship even after say 3 months 6 months he'll be like no giving all kinds of excuses uh he has his work colleagues he has uh, his family or uh, he doesn't make you meet his uh, friends i'm not even talking about family <laughs> because uh, a lot of cultures especially you know america uk and all you know all these places it's quite normal to take your girlfriend or boyfriend to meet your parents it's not that they are just going to talk about marriage um i don't know about india <laughs> India mein it is like um, don't talk about it <laughs> don't tell but we all know so most of the time i think kids are close to their mothers but yeah i'm just saying that if he's always like we'll see 
or he's trying to just avoid being seen in public you know like at places where his friends are there or even putting up pictures basically of you two having a good time together on social media instagram even after six months i think that's a long period of time to make it official that means he's a fuck boy and it's a miracle like i would say i don't know how the hell you are even continuing for six months i think within one or two months you would come to know because you have to i think most girls really uh, are all about making it official i'm not saying that there are only men who are like that but yeah this video is all going to be about fuck boys <laughs> because women are not that i believe manipulative i mean no they are i think upfront about it if they really want to just have a good time that's what i would say number seven now uh this is like classic situation because if he constantly changes his plans as in changes or cancels his plans whenever you two decide to hang out at the last minute that means he's a fuck boy because i understand that people are workaholic these days even i am but if i remove time for someone if i give time for someone i will make sure that i'm free that time you know i'll plan before one or two days beforehand and i mean come on it can't happen all the time that this person has meetings or he has some other obligations it just means that you are not his priority and there is something else which is important for example if he knows that he's not going to get any fuck from you any sex from you number eight watch how he talks about his exes now uh, see i have been bitter too in the past but i am not going to talk bad about my exes all the time i mean yeah it can't be that all all the exes are bad i don't talk bad about all my exes the people who have treated me well i talk good about them <laughs> even the ones who have not been great i mean i definitely wish them well and they were just immature and maybe even i was but after a point especially after you reach a certain age you expect people to behave in a mature manner and even after that also if they are like oh she was like this she was like that this was there giving all kinds of excuses i mean you should be able to hear the other side of the story also <laughs> always pay attention that's why to how people talk you know what they speak be very observational number 9 now um if you are out with this guy and uh, say for a date or you're just hanging out and this person's phone is constantly beeping blowing up with notifications he's constantly on the phone checking you know nowadays like i always say there is whatsapp there is snapchat instagram blah 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 so much <laughs> notifications like what is he some celebrity so um chances are he is a fuck boy it can't be about work i mean i think if people really want to talk something about work they just call you know if it's so urgent and he would definitely just talk in front of you i don't think so he would go away to talk uh if he's like you know hiding like this his phone and like kind of that smoky smile is there basically i just believe that phones should be just okay not switched off fine that will be like too harsh but at least kept on silent or you know kept away on a date if he's so interested in the phone and not getting to know you so i'm like what kind of uh, <laughs> you get it so yeah number 10 is definitely if he has a girlfriend or he's married or even if he's just seeing someone casually i mean why would you want to be with someone like that first of all if he is flirting with you and he says that he wants you and all that um do you have such low self esteem or something that you want to be with this guy Ugh. like there's plenty of people out there some amazing guys just go and be with someone who's single rather than having this whole drama thing and you know like you're like breaking someone's heart i mean why would you want to be with someone like that because 
Imagine if he's going to leave this person for you. That means what kind of character he has. Ew. Disgusting. I don't even find it like a turn on or something like some married guy or some uh, guy who is seeing someone else uh, wanting me. Disgusting. Number 11. You know, uh, you might have been with the, a guy, say you, you're like dating or in a relationship and you constantly feel like this guy is just trying to sexualize things and um, you know, I understand that in a relationship, you know, you um, have to keep, keep things like, you know, a little heated and uh, you should be flirty and uh, all that stuff is fine. But if someone is just all about that, you know, all the time it's about these uh, webcam um, chats and sharing nude pictures and uh, all the time just talking about sex, I mean, what would you do to me? And you don't have that real conversation, that's like, you have to then think about where this relationship is heading. I, I mean, first of all, why would you even want to be with someone like that? I can understand this thing happens usually in your 20s because usually guys in their 20s and, you know, who are like 24, 25, sometimes even in their 30s, they never grow up. <laughs> but this, uh, this is mainly for girls who are in their 20s or in their teenage, so forget it. <laughs> they are the weirdos only. But I'm just saying if any girls in their 20s are watching my videos you know you will usually find guys who are like that sometimes guys just don't grow up even in their 30s and i don't even like waste my time with such men <sighs> we become uh, much more mature in our 30s definitely but um of course there are guys uh, who just don't grow up probably even in their 40s number 12 you know um that guy who makes you feel guilty when you don't send any nude pictures or you refuse to come on webcam chats, he's a fuckboy. You don't owe anyone anything, okay? Shut up. <laughs> Number 13 is um, if at all you are in a relationship with this guy and you happen to find out something or you confront him about it, he has gotten so good at convincing because he's got good at this game. So he knows exactly what to say. They think that they can manipulate anyone. But if you are smarter, you will get out of it. Now, uh, you know, sometimes when these fuckboys think they are losing, they will personally attack you. They will say things which will be just ridiculous actually. <laughs> they try to basically put the blame on you for things not working out or, you know, like, Oh, you did not give me this. So that's why I went around and got it from others. Uh, if they are telling you upfront about it, that means you're definitely is a fuckboy. See, when the fuckboy is losing, nah, he doesn't like that. He treats every woman like some kind of an object. Okay? They are not like this living uh, individual to them. For them, everyone from the age of... If it was possible, I think they would have just fucked even young teenage girls you never know these kind of people and yeah have you like met i mean at least i haven't like met men in the recent uh, years who talk about are you a virgin especially girls in the, in your 20s you might meet such guys who will ask this first question are you a virgin have you done it how many times you have done it describe no how was your first time i mean why Fuck boy. Number 14, the kind of guys who just keep coming back even after you have said no to them thousand times. I always wonder like these people don't even have some self-respect. Actually they don't. It's not about self-respect. For them it's all about try and try till you get her in bed. I don't know, it's, it feels like some kind of a contest or something. Don't treat us like some bloody, I don't know, game, prize possession disgusting no i wonder how many how much time these people actually waste on these things yeah that brings me to point number 15 last point i feel that if you're going to spend so much time in chasing women 
I wonder how do these guys even get time to do work. I feel these guys are not even ambitious. So if you are dealing with a fuck boy, you know, this guy is like constantly just talking about such bullshit with you whole day. That means just think about it. When is he working? <laughs> the whole day if he's going to talk about this only, he's not even interested in getting to know you. He's not interested in uh, knowing about your future plans or discussing his future plans and his career ambitions and stuff. And he's not even working basically. So that means he's a fuck boy because the whole day that's what he does. Just has like some shitty job which pays his bills, okay? And side by side he's just doing that, trying to get girls to send him nudes. So always, always keep your eyes, ears, sixth sense, intuition open before you get caught in this trap of a fuck boy. Alright, that's it from me folks. I hope you like this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below and let me know have you come across such fuck boys? I'm sure everyone has. We all go through all that phase. We learn. We become more wiser. <laughs> so I made this video to help you women, you know, especially women in your 20s because that's the time when you get these predators. <laughs> 30s mein to hum hoshiyar ho jate hain hmm chant at some time men in their 30s are also like still fuck boys even in their 40s also they just refuse to grow up whatever we can just filter out such useless men jaldi se as soon as you come to know please get rid of such fuck boys because they are not going to change women have this uh, stupid notion in their mind ki oh maybe he likes me he will change no baby no <laughs> ऐसा कुछ नहीं होने वाला है वाई वेस्ट योर टाइम राधर गो फॉर सम वन हु इज नाइस इज हैंड्स इन थॉल और इफ यू डोंट गो फॉर लुक्स इट्स ओके एवरेज द किंग बट रियली गुड पर्सन एट हार्ट दैट्स वॉट मैटर्स सम वन हु ट्रीट्स यू विथ रिस्पेक्ट लव और राइट एंड प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इफ यूर लाइकिंग माई चैनल ओके आई एम स्टिल सेंग दिस थिंग अगेन My birthday is on the 13th May and I'm hoping to get 100 subscribers by that time. So now we have hardly what 10 to 12 days or something. 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12. 10 days. See, my maths is kacha. All right. If you want to check out my last video, it's somewhere here. So until next time, it's bye-bye for me. Take care. <laughs>